I'm watching this, of course, on my secondary computer because it's where I can stream things instantly. <sighs> Hello from just woke up about 15 minutes ago, Alex. Wow, good morning. Thank you, Nat. Since we're just rolling through these before the gals start talking, let me get the wheel going for you as well. Nat, you are a peach. No, wait, this is Mineko's Night Market. This isn't just like a, a conglomeration of things. This is Mineko's Night Market. This looks really cool. You're a great listener, Nat. That's coming out September 26th of Steam, and I think. What an incredible way to kick off our first ever wholesome I'm sorry for making show. your face a wheel. My name is Jenny Wyndham, and this bite sized program is meant Jenny, to Jenny, you and Nat are, you got content, it. And even a check in with a couple of our Wholesome Direct alumni. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea. Pink hair, so cute. For this next oh, my moment. car in the background! Oh, where's my wholesome direct shirt, by the way? This is from last year. Got my wholesome gear on today. Pickle is that, that little cat collection game, right? Oh, it's a tea house game. Okay. Cute. Hey, Ava Prime, good to see you. Oh my gosh, look at those. Oh my gosh, look at these little tea sets. If this game is about collecting tea sets, I might need to watch a little bit more of this. Try grapefruit in your tea. Grapefruit? <laughs> your tea. Listen, I can't talk. I took my meds, but I can't talk. It's early. It's tea licious, the tea and flick medicine. Oh goodness. Of course, this would be here, what I'm trying to say to you. Never mind, I'm gonna stop trying to say the medication I gotta give my dog to prevent bugs from biting her, okay? It's bug bite medicine. I am so happy to share that we are joined today by Saffron, the creative director of Kitten Cup Studio. Uh, all these great plushies. The <gasps> I have that little postcard. Right now. Congratulations on the early access. That postcard is from a. Uh, How are you feeling, Saffron? Uh, I was a teenage exo colonist. I feel. Terrific. This one right here. <laughs> Sorry, That's I had to. Uh, but actually, you know, I feel incredibly excited, and I'm so proud of our team. We put so much of ourselves into this game, so I, I can't wait to share it with everybody. Before we move on to the next announcements, I'm curious if you have anything morning, you'd like team. to share with the Wholesome Games community um, before we head off. Yeah, I want to thank everyone who has supported us so far, especially Wholesome Games. Oh, Coraline you know, plushie is sloth a chicken. During the very first Wholesome Direct. And it here. feels like we've come Cult full circle land. by announcing our launch during uh, that, Wholesome Direct. That crayon kid. So, yeah, we're just incredibly you know him? grateful to everyone who believed in us and who also you know felt him. the need You know that kid. I don't know that cats. kid, but he had a little One video on the Switch recently. Uh, <laughs> we will be having launch merch. So we're going to have oh, some Oh, launch cat merch. Cat. We will be working with Misty. I'm already oh, repping. Oh, look at that kitty cat shirt. Oh, uh, so yeah, that will be available for pre-order. Very Please cool. Please check it out on our Twitter, Crayon Shin Chan. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Anywhere on social media oh. you can find us. <laughs> lunch merch. Oh, oh that's, that's super sandwich. exciting. Well, congratulations on your early access launch and double congratulations on the merch. And thank you for joining us today. Okay, it's launching an early access. Oh, this game. This game. This game. Kicks so much butt. Played the demo for this like two years ago. Look at this beefcake over here. Like we got body positivity all day, diversity. This game is very queer friendly as well. I'm so glad they're highlighting this during uh, Pride Month. But yeah, Spirit Swap. This game kicks so much butt. Oh my god, my city! Yeah! Oh, do they have like a DLC for this game? How did you not know Jenny was hosting? I don't know. Oh my god, what? Soccer? What? What? This feels like an April Fool's Day prank. What? What is that? What the heck? How cute. Be sure to go check out the Spirit Swap demo now on Steam. And okay. definitely don't oh God, forget to wish list Button City's brand new game, it's Button a new City game. Soccer it's, Days. It's a new, they're just doing a now, whole new we've thing. had Dang brand new dude. games and demos okay. already announced. So 
check why not out, spice it up um, by dropping yet another check out that demo for three it's swap if you liked visual back in the day this today. is like visual times 10. it's amazing it's so much fun that's gonna be a great like offline just vibe in game and also maybe an online stream game it's a frosh look at the little frosh Okay, this is kind of giving me a little bit of, uh, like, Bug, bug Fables vibe. Let's do a little Pitter Patter feeds. So cute. I like that it's not walking on its hind legs. It's literally just walking like a frog would walk. That's so precious. The world is ending. Do you see that big old mantis? Kind of. I know you saw that mantis. Cut it, chicory ish. Oh my gosh, chicory is such a good game. Frog song, and it's already out now. Cute. Welcome, Brandon, the lead dev, and I have that shirt by the way that you games. One. Now, but one I have thing that I was very curious about is That's one those why frogs features. and what drew the inspiration. And I do see that cracked egg yolk thing. Good, good one eye. One time when I was younger, I was camping with my family, and. I saw all these toads by the lake, and I just started drawing these toads as these, like, fantasy villagers, and the idea kind of all started from there. I love Brandon the idea like my cousin. of just, like, a younger Brandon creating this world while out camping. It feels very, very wholesome. Did you have anything you'd like to share with the Wholesome Games community in particular? The Wholesome <gasps> that Games was community one of those has been a huge a part of Frog Song's journey, Hello, Clamp. so Good it's to see you. an honor to be launching alongside the Wholesome Direct. And it is definitely an honor to have you. Um, thank you again, and a big congratulations on your launch. And that's it for the pre-show. Thank you so that much for hanging out with us. And now, time for Wholesome Direct. That was just the pre-show? Oh my god, that bunny game! Ah! <sighs> Whoa, little voxel train game. Whoa. This is gonna be great. Welcome back to Wholesome Direct, a celebration of wholesome games. My name is Jenny I Wyndham, and Gab I am joined Smulders by my wonderful co-hosts, Kennedy Rose YouTube. and Gab Smulders. They're Sit playing a lot of Ublax as we bring you exclusive footage and announcements for nearly 80 though. wholesome games. And remember, if you see any games you love today, head over to wholesome games. Love cozy games here. Oh my gosh, the little face framing games. The developers. So cute. Love the hair. Yeah, you. Well, they were talking about um, a sequel to Tunic, which is like a. Oh, I think I've seen development of this one. Probably because I follow some games on Twitter. But you get to vibe as a caterpillar and I think become a butterfly. You like go around and eat stuff? You're going to be a butterfly. No! I don't think that's who I am. <gasps> Look at it with the little hat on! Also, Alex, can you see this game being like a wicked speed game? I like I feel like I could see this at the next SGBQ or something. Like somebody's gonna find out some wicked worm strats. Okay, so oh I'm sorry, not tunic, sorry. Tunic is not getting a soccer sequel. Button City, the other game with the fox in it, getting a soccer sequel. If Tunic gets a sequel, you'll know. Because I'll never shut up about it. Worm strats. I am a caterpillar. Doesn't it look so cool? Like, this oh, is cool. Hako, the new intern at Bubblegum Galaxy. She'll now show us how to build planets. Sorry, I meant to say restore the galaxy? Build a planet by placing tiles. Right? That looks like a speed game for sure. Okay, what is this tile based game? Yes, you gotta play Tunic Placing to get on that. I'm to prescribing you. And win stars. Uh, I'm, I'm writing you up some homework. Go play Tunic. The more stars you get, the more planets you'll be able to restore. Each Wait. planet will have its own quirks and special rules. Oh my god. This sound font is used in that. Um, you will get to know more about your coworkers. Right now, oh. Funkin' game. How do I know that? This looks adorable. What is happening? This, this also so reminds good. me of Button City, Hot honestly. Rebuild and save Bubblegum Galaxy. 
Check out the demo available now like on Dwarf Steam. Romantic, yeah. The tile Hi, layering everyone. stone. We're Spell Garden Games and we're making Sticky Business, a cozy small business simulator game where you create your own Ooh, stickers, cool take shirt orders, on the left. and hear about Look your customers' stories. You can play the demo right now on Steam. We'd love to see your creations and hear and about cool your thoughts and ideas too over on, on Twitter as well. or TikTok. Wow, dang. And now it's cool time to build the right cutest sticker here. shop on the internet. Cool. And there was a dog there too, so so much to look at. Experience the joy of running your own cozy small business. That's fun. That's cute. Create stickers, pack orders, and hear your customer oh, stories. Oh, that's really cute, honestly. Actually, I have some stickers arriving today that are bears doing laundry. And sometimes when you get these little stickers, they'll pack in like candy and stuff. Time to build the cutest shop on the internet. That's very cute. Sticky business. That's adorable. I love stickers. I love getting stickers from folks uh, at their own like individual websites and Etsy and stuff like that. Like, I got those cute kitten stickers, those little cats with the strawberries the other day. Those are so cute. Hell yeah, farming games! Moonstone Poison Island combat. is a creature collecting life sim set in an open world with 100 plus islands to explore. Make friends, brew potions, collect spirits, and test your strength in card based oh encounters gosh, to complete so your good. alchemy training. Okay, Steam next next, next month. Interesting. Cool slime! Cool slime. I like that cool slime. Station to Station is a minimalist railroad building simulator that artfully combines Cute. a relaxing experience with eye-pleasing voxel art visuals. Wow, that's so Populate gorgeous. a beautiful, ever-brightening landscape and connect the world by building train tracks. That is so wild. And also you got numbers going up, very nice. All aboard. That is gorgeous. Seen Hi, like I'm Mala. I am an artist, and we are making an adventure management game, The Palace on the Hill. We love playing cozy adventure games with a unique story and setting, and so we are making just that. The game is inspired that by our good. own life and travels in India, and it is coming out very soon. Enjoy the trailer, and please add to your wish list. Milk and cows. Not a lot of cow milking action. Like you don't get to see it in most of these farming games. <laughs> the struggle of washing the floor is real indeed. art style and the music it's like it perfectly encapsulates the place it creates a sense of place you know how pretty that looked very i'd so like to take a moment right? to thank a few think? friends and partners who helped make today's show possible that includes Devolver Digital, it's Sedesco, more than 3%. Studio Dry Dock, Don't look Hyper Beard, That's Raw more than Fury, and Fireshine Games. Ah! Again, a big Please thank you from the Wholesome Games team to I didn't you. Do it. Please don't be mad, Twitch. This is what I'm talking about. I need Will underscore Shan to play this. is a cozy, relaxing bunny collecting Usagi game. Shima. I have my eye on this for at least a year now. A little Konpeto, a little... Sugar candy up there. You get to put a hat on a rabbit? Are you kidding me? Do not Decorate joke with me an right now. Island while you discover and make friends with oh a my god, the construction bunny. Bunnies. This is like a little kitty cat phone game that a lot of folks had. That cat was that little. Oh, feed the rabbits, please, God. Find Yuzu! There's Yuzu. 
play the heck out of that cat game. That was like, everyone was nuts about that cat game. September 1st. Karma well, Zoo is a joyful co-op platformer where up to 10 random players help each other using the unique abilities of 50 different characters. Karma Zoo is a game about finding bliss in cooperation. And Join a joyful team of the 10 releases. players so online cute. and combine your abilities to complete the loop. Oh my gosh, I'm walking like this. There that are seems a billion chaotic. ways to share the love. Choose one. A Spit on your friends to make them sticky. <laughs> Sacrifice yourself to drop a helpful tombstone. Oh, okay. Strip down to your trunk to give a leg up. Is that a little spider? Spin the spider's web for others to climb. <laughs> no, so many cheeks on the anchor. To clear the way. Sing your heart Why out is the anchor caked up, though? But you don't need a reason to carry your friends to victory as they bask in their natural glory. Those Karma hot eggs. Zoo, a game for you. Okay, the anchor had butt cheeks. That's creative. That's so cute. That looks like a fun one. Fun one. Fun one. So cute. I wish I could play games like these. Wish my brain wasn't made of dirt and worms. Is that a little capybara? You get to pet a capybara. I don't know, was it Rain Rain X? I didn't notice. Frog. We got a lot of frog content today. Hop into the world of Kamairu, a cozy farming and crafting okay. game where you breed and collect frogs, Kaidu's customize and Japanese decorate frogs, your very though. own refuge. And work to restore biodiversity in the wetlands. Biodiversity. Yes, teach the children biodiversity. It's good to have a little pond. Cute. We are just getting started, so but I'd like to take a moment to mention our collaboration this year with the Able Gamers Charity. Able Gamers is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving accessibility and enabling more people with disabilities to be able to play video games. That's awesome. They assist Ooh, she's individuals got some ivy in getting on her the microphone. They need, work with them. developers to improve accessibility and more. Get more greenery. We've partnered with the Yeti to offer two limited time wholesome direct t shirts to celebrate today's event and the pansexual pride colors. The proceeds ah! benefit Able Gamers. Bisexual pride colors. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit ablegamers.org and get your limited time t shirts at the Yeti.com. Com slash wholesome games. That's hey, everybody. Right. Steve Spawn hey, here. Wholesome it's games Steve are Spawn. great. They have great content. They're great fun. They're awesome to enjoy. But I don't think it's really about the game's content so much as it is the safe Steve space that has they provide. Such good interviews. I always receive one of the best seats. Everyone it's, has a seat at the table. He's bringing the best points, honestly. Can have fun together. And he's a good follow on Twitter, too, to learn a lot. And he's funny. Ooh, uh, tabletop Explore gaming? Explore a bright fantasy world in Baladins, a whimsical co-op adventure Baladins? inspired by classic tabletop like role-playing games. Paladin. Cute. I have you on a mic arm, wouldn't that be cute? Big Play item. with up to four friends as you meet charming NPCs, collect I odd items, and complete aunt, quests so like, to unlock the secrets of the land. Call my my brother's doctor. Like my brother's name call. I don't know what a Luxomancer is. Is that like working with lights? Doesn't that look cute, Tim? The upcoming DLC for A Little to the Left cleans out the cabinets and secret compartments game. with 25 delightful new cupboards and drawers themed puzzles to discover. I gotta play this game. I have it. <gasps> that was Along the with even a more charming game. illustrations and surprising scenarios. Oh, that's so cute. Coming June 27th. Go, little kitty cat. Stuck in there. So, Lux does mean light? Okay, that's what I thought. Wait, this was also Only a, a quirky Steam sandbox game adventure game about Is that Kirby Katamari game? Objects. 
where you become things. Today, Henry is relaxing by doing some gardening. They enjoy planting new life and watching it grow from their care and love. Accompany Henry through their life story with all its ups and downs. Please wishlist Henry Halfhand now on Steam. This looks wild. Hi, I'm Preeti, and I'm making Gordlets, a cozy city-building sandbox I where you place buildings gordlets. and scenery, and then little visitors called Gordlets show up and live in your world. Depending on what you build, they might play chess, read, drink tea, take a little nap, fish, roast marshmallows, and more. The only I believe objective this is, is to build and see what a the city builder where build. nothing bad happens. And now, by it's just popular vibes. request, the final release will have farming. Choose seeds to nice. plant gordlets, water them, and pull weeds to grow <laughs> By popular plant. request, people like, put farming soon. in it! Right now. <gasps> I played this for the um the what demo if love thing. Love was your Last most year. precious resource. This is Lakeburg Legacies, I believe. This is so cute. Pre also, matchmaker in Lakeburg Legacies, queer friendly a game. Management sim. You can have folks, Create the best you know, couples, two lesbians, drama, two guys, and ensure that your kingdom thrives. And also, uh, a lesbian couple does not need a circuit in order to play. They don't need any, like, intervention or thing. It's really cute. Hi, Crazy Gamers. I'm Latina. And I'm Mick. And when and also, some lesbians are able to continue. Crazy MMA game about working together to build a better living world. It just depends. We're currently working towards our Kickstarter campaign, which yeah. we'll watch soon. You're about to watch our very first season trailer. Welcome to Loftia, a game about <gasps> working together to make a positive impact on the world. You can learn skills such I've as hydroponic farming and sustainable crafting. Go on I think they're also still hiring. Yes, you can have two head or dads, Matt. Indeed. Whether you love socializing with friends, both old and new, or prefer playing solo, there's a home for everyone in Loftia. Ooh, hydrangeas. Dang, those are so pretty. And some wisteria. Looks so cute. What was that queer friendly game? It was uh Lakeburg Legacies. Oh Pokemon like? Monster Catcher? Oh my god, volleyball, that's right! It's Pokemon Volleyball! Oh my god! This is so cute. I, I think they might have talked about this at the, the Summer Games Fest thing or something like that. Or like before or after it or something, but this is nuts. What a great concept. So good. I love that. Volleyball together! Rivals, besties, partners. That's cute. Love it. Oh my god, that's some Metopia stuff. I I love that that there's a dynamic between them. Ah, it evolved. Show me the evolution. That was cool. Okay, that kind of kicks a lot of butt. Oh. <gasps> Smooshy, come home! My name's Noah, but you might know me as Some Humble Onion. And for the past two years, I've been developing a little game about a little mushroom. It used to be called Today, Mushroom. I have some very exciting news to share with you about it. So be sure to watch until the Or end. Shimmy, come home. It used to be called Shimmy, come home. And now it's Smooshy, come home, I think. This game is cute as heck. Oh, this is gonna be a good game. Are you running a capybara? So cute. Who doesn't love capybaras? He had some Pikmin in the back, and I saw that Princess Mononoke poster, Starfall. Yes. You get to change your hats and stuff too. Isn't that cute? Do not fear the blade, squishy mushroom. Ah! Oh. Look, they had a Christmas light in their head. I love the snail too. You actually get to learn about real mushrooms in this game. Isn't that cool? Now it is, it is like a three dimensional game, Harmless. I know you were saying that sometimes that can make you like a little queasy. Smooshy come home, okay? That's what it's called. Not shoo me, it's smooshy. 
Oh, I love the patterns already. Interesting. What if this is that one cooking game? Yes! This is gonna blow everyone's mind. Venba. This is wild. Yes. Making food, traditional recipes. What to eat when you're sick. Deliciousness. Proper technique and preparation. So cute. Isn't that amazing? Hey, Faye, what's going on? <laughs> yes, Mushi does look like a fun guy. Wow. Uh oh. What happened to your house? The iconic Little Nemo as you explore the wondrous world of dreams. Little Sorry. Nemo? In this platforming adventure, you'll collect toys, PJs, and little buddies. Wait, wasn't there that movie like Little Nemo? Abilities. Discover enchanting Did they get the license? Domains and encounter a colorful cast of characters, all threatened by the mysterious oblivion, which only you can overcome. Along the way, you'll face challenges, but don't worry, you'll simply wake up safe and sound in your bedroom. If you die, you just Take wake up, that's great. Before hopping back oh, they said Nemo, to continue on not your adventure. Nemo, okay. Not finding Nemo, there was like a... a uh, adventure before that. Little Nemo. Yo, I think it's Little Nemo. Nemo. Try the demo now. Like the actual Steve movie from back in the day. Time. Little Nemo came out in the 80s, yeah. Next, we've got They're updates for two platformer? games from our friends at Sudesco. Stay tuned for the latest from Garden Witch Life and Orange Season. It's public domain? Interesting. I didn't know that, THX. How about that? So they don't have to pay for that. Oh my gosh, look at the chickens. Does that person have a killer beard? Oh, the little Pikachu. <laughs> nice. Froggies. Meditate with Froggies. Garden Witch Life, do I have this? Oh no, I might have seen a beta for it. Orange Town, heck yeah. Chopping logs. Dancing. Snoozing. Fishing. The way this screen is so zoomed in almost makes it feel like a Game Boy Advance game. Which is like, you know how Game Boy Advance games, they, they made the character so big and like, you were just trying to move through this little world. I feel like that. Mount Ohm. <laughs> Slinging yourself up there, that's cute. Oh! Um, Little Nemo was one of the first comics. I had no idea. There was just a Netflix Little Nemo movie with Jason Momoa in it. I had never heard of that. You follow two of the streamers that are on this? That is very cool. So far, that Pokemon volleyball game has got me losing my mind. It's so hard to remember everything that I've seen though. Hopefully they do like a of the Ooh, this is colorful. Making plant babies. Magic and plants, alright. Kitty cat bubbles, that's so cute. This is adorable. a lot of dragon. That's cute. Grimoire Grows. I have actually never heard of this one. Hi, Olsen Direct. We want to welcome you to Garden Buddies. Garden Buddies is a story-based life hair on Matsi, this dev. Small apple Are you kidding me? Build a gorgeous garden and learn new Fresh from the salon. Stress and anxiety. Good we idea. You Are you recording a video? You better go to the salon. You. Now enjoy the first trailer of Garden Buddies coming this summer to Switch and Steam. Garden Buddies on. Ah! Apple. 
The music is already reminiscent of Animal Crossing Wild World. Love it. Listen, Keen, I wasn't gonna say it. We're not we're here not here to objectify. That's what Mass Effect 2 is for, okay? <laughs> Never saw it so keen, please. I mean kind of please. Aww. You wanna hear the sickest song you've ever heard? <laughs> That's so amazing. <gasps> I'm unique, I'm loved, I'm important. Oh, a little breathing game? That is wholesome. What a good idea, a little box breathing thing. Smart. In a tiny sticker tail, help a young donkey named Flame in their journey to reunite with their father. Use a magic sticker book to take anything Cute. from the world around you and turn it into a sticker. Use your creativity to stick them back in different Thank places, you. solving puzzles and helping your new friends. Uh, did a dog just come to that tree? <laughs> Very cute. Kind of Paper Mario-ish also. Pretty sweet. That's so cute, right, Bubble Wrap? Ooh, hold on now, what's all this? Everdeep Aurora oh, this is a that small Mina 2D game. adventure and exploration game thing. that tells the story of an adventurous little cat named Shell searching for her missing mother. Oh, looking for the mommy. Look at their little coats. Ah, I love it. This is so adorable. <laughs> they got a fake mustache in their inventory. Look at that big old snake. Game Boy Color Vibes for sure, THX. I want to see this game from like six feet away so I can see everything at once, you know? I want to play this on my Game Boy. What is this called? We don't know yet. I don't think they've announced the title yet. This does look very Yusuf. I this dig a well crafted piece of game many secrets with an economy of color. Her. Look at that old lizard. This is called Everdeep Aurora. Interesting. You see the owl? The owl got tall. Everdeep Aurora. I know what you'll be playing later this year. Uh, Aurora, A U R O R A. I can spell Kibu it. Kibu is a oh, tranquil you, adventure in the heart of the wilderness. Kino's got you. Oh, I'm sorry. Kaino's got you. <sighs> Appreciate you, Kaino. Even though I called you the wrong name twice today, I expect you to revolt. Build out a temple. The mantises will be upon me. Tend to your garden, me. brew delicious tea, and adventure out into the wilds to harvest the riches of nature. Hey, mixed world. What's going on? We're watching the wholesome direct today. We are one, blend together. May your powers unite. Carve out your Ooh. own special corner of home in a beautiful, Ooh. mysterious land. Interesting. From the creators of Omno, I think maybe it says? In this cozy platformer, play as young witch Flora who cooks and delivers tasty treats to the townsfolk. Cool, abroad. a lot of witch games, huh? What was that? That was... Uh, I literally forget the game. But it's made by the creators of Omino. Choose a fitting recipe and gather ingredients through different means while exploring this beautiful harbor town. But you missed an amazing Pixar game called Let's uh, start with slowly Everdeep roasting the Aurora, the which looked really cool saying. And the cooking pot. Remember, for this order, you were asked to I thought that said roasted spicy. timber lake. I was like, we're killing Justin Laura, in this cozy you game? only have a spicy horn pepper. <sighs> we can work with that. It's not in the recipe, but you can use additional ingredients to outweigh the flavors of others. Interesting. Let's start with the spark of magic and come back in a second to collect it. Non-rigid recipes, huh? Flexible now, recipes. It's time to deliver your magical delicacies. Hmm. That's very interesting. Magical delicacy. Those characters Get are cute ready too. to meet oh, Kibu. It was called Kibu. Care for That's right. adorable puppies while hat. exploring paradise in our next game. Welcome to Paradise, My or should we say Puppy, puppy Paradise. We have a ton of pups for you to befriend. Make sure to bathe, feed, 
and Nintendogs. Unlock hundreds of clothes and accessories to dress up your pups oh, so and bad. create your own unique style. Girl, a Get princess. Your friends to out and hunt for treasure on sandy a pirate. Or a hike Santa and explore Claus. snowy mountains. Go on your very own adventure and explore an island full B-word. of puppies. B word. This is the thing. Be this sure is the game. This is the game ever. Who knows what secrets you'll find. This along is the, the way. most game ever. Make this island your own. Build and customize it for you and the furry locals. You are walking a dog. There's so much here for you to discover. And so many friends to make in this relaxing and exciting I know, adventure. Nintendo's missing out not making more Nintendo dogs for the Switch. And this company island. was like, don't worry, we got you. Right here at Little Friends Puppy Island. June 27th. The Guardian of Nature is a puzzle adventure we game got it. with lovely handcrafted art and animations. Please. It's about a giant tree that connects the whole forest and its vegetation. You are brought into this magical Dog world. Souls or society? I don't Henry, know if the souls part is there. A botanist but... and the this last seems guardian of nature. One day, Henry finds out that the mother tree is in danger, and that he needs to go on an urgent journey to put nature. Oh, <laughs> I like this guy already. He's great. Explore the world of the game above. I love this character and design. Ground. Solve solar punk puzzles and see how everything solar? is connected. I know the dog one was first person, so I can't Use play it, but it was ability to design. change in Heck. size and find out about the large and tiny wonders of this world. This looks so the cool. the Guardian of Nature now on Steam. This one's a real brain tickler, I bet. Both in the puzzle and just the design of the world. That looks really cool. Doesn't look cool, though. Is that a flying shark? And the little jellyfish buddies? Oh my god, look at that penguin with an ice cream cone. Mule net, okay. Fluffy roll! I feel like I'm hiding half these games. I might make myself smaller. I can't, there's too many windows on my screen, dang. Was that a little bookworm? Adorable. Are all these games on Steam? Uh, some of them are on the phone, like Android uh, and the Apple Store. And by the way, this will be up on YouTube after after the live stream, so it'll be on the Wholesome Games YouTube channel. That's where I'm watching it on right now. But it'll be on there, so you can like scrub through this and check it again. Catch all the titles. Yeah, some are on Switch. So we're coming to every platform. <laughs> okay. Feed all monsters. Cute. I guess butterflies are monsters. That butterfly loves burgers. I love that. It's not about killing the monsters. It's about feeding. Look at that hungry little three-eyed dog. Oh. Cute. Maybe monsters aren't evil, they're just hungry. I'm not me when I'm hungry. I do as well. When indie games do crossovers, Welcome crossover, to Manita's so Kitchen, where you'll meet Trexito, a T-Rex with short arms Trexito. that has one dream, to become the best pizza maker. Get him, Trexito. Join Trexy there is like a little dinosaur up there that's wearing a hat in a scarf, and I'm... I'm living for this. I know. Could ruin everything. <gasps> Stress? Stressing out the dino? Okay, I did. I did play Unpack on a computer. Yeah. And probably now on your phone. Perfect for a phone, honestly. Unpacking is a game seem like game about made the familiar for phones experience also. of pulling possessions out of boxes. What company is presenting? Them this is called home. Wholesome Direct Mixed World. Uh, by the Wholesome Games. And it's a conglomeration of indie studios that are like, hey, we have these kind of like fun themed games year. that are cozy and comfy. We would like to present them. So they all For get together. Just joining, we'd awesome like to take there. a moment to remind you about our collaboration with the Able Gamers charity. Hey, how's my girl? Good to see you. Doesn't it make so much for sense for mobile? Like just enjoy video games by providing packing something, tapping an arrow, putting it down there, education. rotating it. I feel like it makes they tons assist of individuals in getting the peripherals they need. Work with developers to improve accessibility and more. 
And this year, we are partnering with the Yeti to offer two limited time Wholesome are Direct sure t-shirts that celebrate today's event and 100% of the proceeds benefit Able Gamers. So cute. If you'd like to learn more, you can visit ablegamers.org and get your limited time t-shirts at theyeti.com slash wholesome games. You love this charity? It's a good dang charity. They do excellent work. I remember <clears throat> reading a story from Steven Spawn where um, a mom and dad had come up to him and were like, you know, we hear that you do work um, to help people with disabilities, but we don't think that would work for our son. And the son was like pretty much permanently paralyzed, but he could move his foot a little bit. He could tap his foot. And Steven saw him and instantly thought like, we can work with this. So they had brought a controller over to him right there on the game floor. This was at some sort of like convention or something. Brought a controller and was like, here, just try using your foot to tap this and play the game. And within minutes, he was playing video games again as somebody who's like almost completely bodily paralyzed. So I just think they do amazing work. Bringing gaming to everybody, everyone deserves to have the ability to play games. So I thought that was so sweet. That stuck with me forever. I know there's so many cute gardening and farming games this year. So many like cool witchy games as well. Isn't that Solar awesome? Punk is a cozy survival so crafting sweet. game in a technically advanced world of floating islands. <sighs> Morphinius, great to see you. Oh, Live in harmony with nature and use sunlight, wind, and water to create an energy system and automate oh, your processes cute. like gathering resources and watering your plants. <laughs> no, Kara Cats. I love gardening, but sometimes I don't want to have to come in and take a shower and wash all the bugs off me, you know? So, gardening in a video game is such a cute idea. <gasps> there you go. Every deep aurora is on, on an just aisle of the today. land's nice. finest artisans. Very nice. I hope so too, Morphinius. I hope so too. Recently, Steve was like, "Hey, Barbie the movie. I will, I will paint my entire wheelchair pink. My whole gig, my whole Step setup. I'll paint it pink." Of an expert smith. If you'll shout out, the adventure. Filled I hope with the Barbie movie does that. Charm. Hopefully, they work with him. Because that would be so cool. I love the solar punk genre because it feels kind of hopeful, right? Hey, fishing, all right. <gasps> a family a hammer, of cello. Anvil and your wits can overcome any challenge. This is so cute, a little game about being a blacksmith. That's fun. While the iron is hot, of course. Coming up next, we've got a fresh look at the Life Sim Wildflowers and some of the recent updates it's received, including additions to the romance, farming, and character customization romance, systems. Romance, you say? Something that, in theory, I'm into, and then as soon as I encounter it in a video game, I start screaming. Play some D&D &D with your friends. They're about to enter the big, bad, evil He's guy's lair. Good luck to them. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Join Tara I on wonder a if they're going to cover that game that Stardew Valley, but one of the people in the town is a murderer. I don't know if that counts as cozy. Probably not. My There's a game in development God, right now. It's so a Stardew Valley-like where somebody in the town is a serial killer and they're killing the other core life and That's bond probably with your not coven. cozy, but it is cool. I hope that game goes well. That's a cool concept. What's it called? Let me look it up, Karakat. I think I bookmarked it a lot ago. Uh, Come to know fun. and love the fully voice-acted characters of Fairhaven as you unravel a local mystery. It's called I'm Grave Seasons, wild. and it's by Perfect Garbage Studios. Here is a link about it. Come to Here's the an article soldier. about it. Come as fast as you can. This is like these hills are a prison, like and I'm breaking out. There you go. Moira McKinnon is running away from home across the Scottish Highlands to reach the sea. Scramble over Where's peaks, wrong? decipher maps. Explore caves Probably and rush through easier. valleys in time to music. Wait, Collect the stories of the hills now? and of Moira's past. Like a link of Sushi my Ben is a VR adventure game about saving a struggling sushi bar by bringing in new customers. Was it? I miss Scotland. The game also uses unique 3D Twitter, manga panels to add film language to VR. I'm oh, sorry, Miss Scotland. Oh, you'll have to help Japanese customers with that? their problems before they Beefy agree to woman? accompany you for dinner. 
This looks like Sushi Ben. Here's the latest from Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. <gasps> Moomin! Did anybody grow up watching Moomin? I did a not. A phenomenon was born. Tuve Jansson, a cherished artist and author, but I know some created the intriguing really world of Moomin Valley, transcending cultural boundaries and capturing it just seems the hearts like of millions. Cute little... Moomin's enduring appeal can be traced to the story's themes of friendship, melancholy, nice. and adventure, which have resonated Look with audiences gremlin. across generations. Among the inhabitants of Moomin Valley, we find a free-thinking spirit and philosopher with his signature green hat and harmonica, Snufkin. A true wanderer, he has embraced a nomadic lifestyle, cherishing his independence Snufkin's and sense of adventure game. above all. When harmony is disturbed in Moomin Valley, he returns to restore the natural <laughs> order of gremlin. beauty and rescue his best friend, Moomin Troll. Join Snufkin's adventures so in Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley. It looks like the cop might be the bad guy, so... All right! All right, Snufkin! The Star Named you, Eos is a first-person narrative puzzle adventure game that explores the power of photography and memories. Moomin is so cute. You love Moomin, Immerse Matt? yourself in a hand-drawn world, game, man. solve puzzles, and recreate photos to relive long-forgotten moments. Oh, this is a cute little scrapbooking adventure. So cute. And this is that depressed Dr. Pigeon game. Fall of Porcupine is a unique story adventure. I wonder how cozy this game is going to be, because it is about the medical industry. This one might Experience be along the, the lines of like, story of Finley and Night in the Woods level company, where it's like, world. you are watching your character do things that you would absolutely not do. It kind of gives me Night in the Woods vibes. Exactly, exactly. Oh my god, dropping all the blood samples! You're killing me. Yes, well, it was made by the devs of Night in the Woods. Um, Hi everyone, I'm Kira. Uh, killer makeup, oh my god. Story of so seasons cool. in the West. Um, Here's a little snippet into some gameplay. I think it's called Revenant Hill. Life, which is coming out this June 27th. Revenant Hill. First things Ooh. first, let's create my own character. For those who played the original, you can see how much more choice you have now, and so I've made the decision to make myself. You can even choose what pronouns you'd like characters you to use throughout the game. We love of it. Of course, life on the farm is nice and relaxed. <laughs> Look at that person we've with made some changes eyebrows. to love make it. it even more relaxing, with better movement, upgradable tools, and some helpful new facilities. We've also added new hybrid crops, so you can experiment and make some unusual creations. Naturally, this game is all about family and there's so much to uncover here. Okay. I don't want to spoil too much, so let me just tell you that I've married Nami and our daughter, Mina, is the cutest thing ever. It's time for me to say goodbye, Aww. so let me leave you with a quick that snuggle and brush. Yeah. I can't tell. <gasps> a pink sheep? Was that Lebus Abs? Can you be Lebus Abs? I hope so. Let people be gay. I hope so. Stinbury. Those three seasons, right? A little horse trailer. <gasps> oh, it's a little miniature book thing. I've always wanted to visit one of these things. Mm. Doesn't this game remind me of the characters ah. from Ooplets? Their design. Yeah. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I don't know. I'm not sure, Keen. I don't know if it's separate. Oh, it's Pan because Kira is supposed to be non-binary. I had no idea. I don't know these characters. That's very cool. Oh. Totally rad. I'm glad they got some non binary characters in there. <laughs> oh my gosh! This thing's made of little toys and blocks. Oh, I see. Oh my god, it's 
looks like little wooden dolls. Uh, yeah, just drop that there. <gasps> the road is made of puzzle pieces. I am like a baby. You could just show me wholesome direct and it's like jingling keys in front of me. It's too much rubbish around me too. You're right about that. Ah. Look like a Playmobil thing. Wood and weather. Cute. Next up is Campfire Cat Cafe, a mobile game where you build, I thought, manage, I and design a relaxing cat cafe and snack bar in the forest. Well, the good news, Harmless, is it's going to be on YouTube for you to watch later. And also, if you want to see my reaction, I'll put this up on YouTube too. Oh my God, cats in love! <laughs> oh my gosh. Campfire Cat Cafe is an idle game where you open a restaurant in a forest filled with cute animals. Oh my gosh. Is this going to be on the phone? Because my brother would love it. Oh, look at that little princess. <laughs> look at that rabbit who's crying his face off. Oh, I want this cat to be happy with their partner. Decorate and level up your idol. They said an idol new game. Areas and activities for your I customers to enjoy. Hello. I'll watch the whole direct. I was just talking about you. This seems like a game you'd like uh, to play. It'll be happening soon, yeah. Right. As soon as this is over, I'll switch over. Okay. And also, Dad might be doing the Zoom call downstairs on his laptop. I'm not okay. sure. Yeah. That's my brother. Say hi. Soup? Question mark? me at noon every day. Pretty. Miho must venture through a world of endless deserts, floating mountains, and talking beasts, wow. outsmarting thieves, and meeting the quirky characters along the way. Look at all these blizzards. This seems really inventive. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Very metaphorical with its design. Oh, what grandma. What do you mean I'm at soup? I'm at soup! What's the time there? It is 12.57 here. I should see if the ad is going to run. Let me see if I can delay it. It's in progress now! No! In Tracks of Thought, you're a little ladybug who's still figuring things out. And you're figuring out why no one in this train Sorry, can remember where they're going. Team up with one of seven bugs suited to your it. own personality. Help out the passengers, Look at settle cool your differences in card huh? battles, and learn how to deal with conflict together. Dealing with oh, conflict? Something I think like everybody needs to learn how to deal with. Cute. 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 Okay. All right. Oh, gosh. Don't hurt Grandma. A heart attack with a bench under her. She's okay. Lots of muggums, right? A mommy? I'm running the ice cream shop? Okay. Mommy's gotta work too, I guess. This is a cute little town, so. This is cute. One of those, like, little roller coaster tycoon kind of guys. You're making the city. A lot of drones. Go go town. That's so cute. Is there a little? Oh, there's a little play test for it. If you'd like this kind of game, it's almost that. time to say goodbye. She said, "Have a Before seat." Before we go, we'd like to share even more wholesome games coming your way this year and beyond. Oh, I do these like are gonna this. go by Ice fast, so don't forget shops. to visit like, wholesomegames.com after the show for all the info and links to the games. That's cute. It's a little winter. Castle. Oh my god, is this about how, like, if you put a piece of toast, what, what side it'll land on versus a cat? That's so cute! Cats fight gravity with butter toast in the back. Cats will always land on a piece. 
This is very cool. Tile based movement game, great animation. Would you say this one is that dilute you? I'm trying to describe this genre. Oh my gosh! Look at that! You are a delivery duck! Oh! That I can do the game. Somebody's gonna be running that at age of you. <gasps> is that a sloth just running? And climbing? Put the pot on his back. I don't know what that is. Never mind. That's a little lumpkin. Yes, cat says second. lump. Processing grief? Interesting. <gasps> Who is this little duck? Playing music? A rhythm game? Oh! Dancing! A smiley face truck. That is so cute. Garden life. I need Wholesome Direct to stop attacking me personally. I don't have enough money to play all of these games. That's just mean that you are putting all these cute little gardening games in your thing. I can see you playing like 90% of these games, Morph. This is so cool too, the kind of storybook art style of this. The Shroom Revolution. Oh my god, they look like the mushrooms from Maple Story. You know, mushrooms are gonna take over at some point. They're the ultimate life form. I'll just return to Mushroom at some point. Mm -hmm. Dumpster Ball! <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Pong, but with toasters. That's so funny. This is so cute. They are just cramming so many little window garden! My mom would love this. My mom has an extensive collection. Honestly, I agree, Coyote Starters. It's been like... I, I think it's so good because Wholesome Games, like, you know, it's how to do presentation, how to, like, class games together that you're going to be interested in. Even this segment where we're just seeing little snippets of these. So cool. That is adorable. <gasps> oh my gosh! Magical girls, what happens after? That's a great idea! What happens after the magical girl team defeats the big bad guy? Like, what keeps them together? That's cool. <laughs> Let me throw you, bro! <laughs> and that brings us to Cute. the end of our program. Remember to visit wholesomegames.com for links to every game featured in today's show. We'll see you again next year for Wholesome Direct 2024. Man. But before we go, here is one last game we hope you'll love. Oh yes, they showed this at the top of the show. Oh my god! Instant 90s anime style. Interesting. 
I was expecting that art style for this, but it still looks very cute. Where's that girl? Where's that Miss Miss Mistra? <gasps> Is that a strawberry milk cow? Oh, okay, she's looking very 90s, so it seems like the character portraits follow the 90s. Anyway. A heart garden! Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark. <gasps> oh, I love that. Are you like busy? <gasps> Whoa, so cool. Oh, this looks really good. really good. This is tons of fun. Oh my gosh! That pink cow! I'm losing my mind of this pink cow. There she is. There's that girl. It would be the same without you. Cute! Ugh. Very that, you, and very that. Bye! Oh yeah, Bye. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that was adorable. Was like, <laughs>